The air grew colder as Elijah delved deeper into the intricate maze of machinery. The rhythmical hum and pulsating lights became more intense, each step he took echoing ominously around him. The weight of the oppressive machinery pressed down on him, and every so often, he thought he caught a glimpse of shadowy figures moving just beyond his vision. But more unsettling than sights were the whispers. Closer. Come closer. The voice seemed to come from everywhere and nowhere. It was as if the very walls of the maze were speaking to him, each whisper a caress, seductive yet chilling. With every step, the whispers grew louder, more insistent, pulling him deeper into the labyrinth. A fog began to rise, swirling around his feet. Through the mist, a silhouette began to form. It was as though the machinery itself was bleeding, converging, reshaping, and from this mechanical metamorphosis, an entity began to emerge. At first, it seemed like a tangle of wires and gears, but as it took shape, it became more organic, more sinister. Who are you? Elijah demanded, trying to mask the tremor in his voice. The entity chuckled, a sound like grinding gears. I am the embodiment of progress's shadow. I am the voice of all the souls consumed by the insatiable appetite of technology. I am. Elijah watched in horror as Legion's form shifted again. Glimpses of faces. Soldiers he recognized. Friends he had lost. Innocent victims of this terrible war. All melded into Legion's form. They seemed to scream in agony. Their features distorted. Eyes pleading for release. Every so often, a piece of machinery would protrude grotesquely from Legion's form. A grim reminder of the symbiotic relationship between man and machine. Why have you brought me here? Elijah's voice was barely a whisper, the weight of the revelations pushing down on him. Legion moved closer, the ground quaking with each step. You are at a crossroads, Elijah. The same machinery that you hope will bring equality and progress has a cost. Every advancement, every leap forward, is built on the backs of those who suffer, those who are consumed. And I... I am the manifestation of that cost. Legion's form surged forward, ensnaring Elijah. The coldness of the metal, the heat of the organic mass, the agony of the trapped souls, all of it enveloped him. As he struggled, he felt the very essence of the entity seep into him, images flashing before his eyes, battles, screams, gas clouds, the relentless march of machinery the lost hopes of countless souls. Remember this, Legion whispered, its voice a cacophony of anguish and rage. Progress has a price, and sometimes that price is too great to bear. With a gasp, Elijah tore himself free, the shadows of the maze receding. But the weight of his encounter with Legion remained, a stark reminder of the duality of progress and its consequences. Elijah's eyes blinked open to the gray haze of dawn, the stench of burned flesh, the distant cries of the wounded, and the eerie silence of the dead surrounded him. He sat up, his head pounding, heart racing. The memories of the nightmarish dream rushed back in torrents. Pushing his trembling hands through his hair, he whispered to himself, It was just a dream, just the dream, just the damn fever. But the intensity of the visions, the visceral reality of Legion, made the words ring hollow. As he began to stand, his gaze fell upon a gas mask half buried in the mud. Its empty eye sockets seemed to stare back, an uncanny reminder of the machinery in his dream. Shivering, he picked it up, the cold rubber feeling almost organic in his grip. Freeman, called out a voice, turning. Elijah saw Sergeant Mathis approaching. Good to see you on your feet. We need all hands to prep for the next offensive. We've got new tech to deploy. As the sergeant led him to the new equipment, Elijah was introduced to a massive machine gun, its bullets larger and more deadly than he'd ever seen. With its black metal and gleaming muzzle, 
It looked like a direct offspring of the mechanical maze he'd navigated in his dream. This beauty, the sergeant beamed, patting the gun, is going to change the game. Elijah forced a nod, but the very touch of the cold metal made his skin crawl. Every rattle, every metallic clink, was a haunting echo of Legion's voice. Later, as he was handed a freshly designed grenade, its weight felt all too familiar. The very innovations that were meant to empower and protect them seemed to whisper promises of destruction. Every technological marvel was tainted with the visions of sacrifice and pain. That evening, as he lay in the trench, the soft hum of an approaching tank served as a lullaby. But instead of sleep, Elijah found himself caught in a liminal space where the dream world and reality intertwined. The distant roar of engines, the hiss of gas, the chilling metallic whispers, all seemed to be calling out to him, reminding him of the ever-present legion. Shaking, sweaty, and desperately trying to anchor himself to reality, Elijah whispered to the night, I won't be swayed. I won't let the past dictate the future. But the shadows seemed to laugh in response, hinting that the battle for Elijah's soul and sanity was just beginning. Legion's form expanded and shifted, a monstrous chameleon made of gears and shadows. With a swift movement, it ensnared Elijah, tendrils of machinery curling around him, drawing him close. Suddenly, Elijah's surroundings shifted. He was no longer in the maze but standing amidst the booming noise of a cotton mill during the Industrial Revolution. Men, women, and even children slaved away, their faces drawn and pale, fingers raw and bleeding. A young boy, no older than ten, reached out to him, eyes devoid of hope, his hand crushed and mangled by the unforgiving machine he operated. The birth of industry, Legion whispered, the voice echoing in Elijah's ear. Progress demanded its price in sweat, blood, and tears. Before Elijah could react, the scene changed. He now stood on a construction site of a great railway bridge. Workers dangled perilously from ropes, and the screams of a man who had fallen to his death filled the air. Steel beams dropped, crushing limbs. Each pound of the hammer was a cry of pain, every rivet a sacrifice. The railways that connected nations, that brought progress to every doorstep, Legion's voice held a mocking tone. But see the lives they claimed. The visions grew more rapid. Coal mines with deadly explosions. Factories with infernos consuming hundreds. Streets filled with child laborers. And then the sounds of war. Explosions. Cries of despair. Men trapped under tanks. The gasping breaths of soldiers in gas masks. And the mournful silence of desolated battlegrounds. Each scene held its own horror. But the vision that shattered Elijah's heart was yet to come. A familiar scene of a plantation emerged. Slaves working under the brutal sun, lashes marking their backs. He saw a figure that bore a striking resemblance to him, presumably an ancestor. The man was chained to a post, being whipped mercilessly, his screams echoing. The cruelty, the inhumanity. It was all too much. Even before these machines, progress has always demanded a price. Legion's voice was almost a caress, chilling in its tenderness. Your own blood knows it too well. The question is, how much more are you willing to pay? Elijah was on his knees now, tears streaming down, the weight of generations of suffering pressing down on him, the visages of his ancestors, their pain, their resilience, their sacrifices, all stared back at him. Then, the softest whisper, almost drowned out by the screams and cries of the past, reached him. What will be your legacy? Elijah, how will you balance the scales? As abruptly as it started, the onslaught of visions ceased. Elijah found himself back in the maze, still in the malevolent grip of Legion, 
but now armed with a deeper understanding of the true cost of progress.